So I was recently coaching someone and we were going over his roadmap, what he needs to do, what he doesn't need to do. And he freaking tells me that he currently is learning React before learning JavaScript. And you may say, oh, Nazar, this is just one guy. This is not a big deal. You know, don't worry about it. But no, I've had multiple people come up to me in these coaching sessions telling me that they are learning React right now after very little sessions and experience with JavaScript. And this brings us to the subject of today's video. We have a great amount of developers that are going straight into frameworks such as React and Next.js without learning the fundamentals of a programming language. And that is why a great deal of programmers today are called frameworkers. Now, this is a term that was popularized by Primogen. I hope I'm spelling your name right, bro. I don't, you're not probably not even watching this video, but basically what people are doing today is that they rush through a programming language like JavaScript. They notice that it's difficult, so they skip through the core fundamentals of it. They just breeze through for loops. They, they breeze through calling data and DOM manipulation, and then they go straight into a framework because it's easier. And although this is true, frameworks are supposed to make writing programming languages easier. Imagine trying to go for a run without knowing how to walk. People will tell you, okay, bro, you need to learn how to walk first and then maybe jog, and then you can and start running and sprinting. But the equivalent of that in coding is that people are going straight into running without knowing how to walk. And you may be saying like, what's the big deal between a frameworker and a coder is okay? People are using frameworks, so what? Is that if you're going straight into frameworks, then you're not utilizing the core fundamentals of the language. Again, frameworks make writing a programming language easier. And if you don't know how to write in that programming language first, understand the core features and how it works, you cannot use the framework to the biggest abilities. You're gonna run into a ton of errors, you're gonna write spaghetti code, and your code is gonna run slower. And also, you're not gonna use all of the things within the framework because they're based off of the programming language. For example, although React classes aren't used that much, it used to be a big part of React. And if you fully skipped JavaScript and went straight into React, you will not know what is going on in this picture. However, if you do know JavaScript and you understand what classes are and how to utilize classes, then you will kind of understand what's going on and you can learn as you go. And this brings us to the main issue uh, for this video, AI. In your opinion, right? Who do you think AI is more likely to replace? Is it the person that skipped everything, skipped the fundamentals of programming and the core features of a hard programming language and went straight into something that made it easier? Or someone that took his time, went through everything, understands a core of a language, understands programming principles, really took his time with everything. I would say that the frameworker is more likely to be replaced by AI because he basically doesn't know how to code. He doesn't know the fundamentals. He doesn't know how to connect everything and he doesn't know how to utilize a language. He just went to the easiest thing to make his life as easy as possible. On the other hand, there's a coder there that knows everything. He can utilize AI and he can utilize frameworks to his abilities, but he knows everything within the language. He, he's creating libraries and frameworks on his own rather than copying from people all the time. So what I highly recommend you do and what I've been doing lately is to learn the basics of a programming language. If you don't wanna be like a frameworker and eventually be replaced by AI, because I, if AI is gonna replace programmers, it's gonna be like the frameworkers before the actual coders. And you wanna learn the basics of a programming language. Just understand what is going on. Not React, not Next.js, not a framework. Understand a programming language. Why do we use JavaScript? How do we use JavaScript? How is JavaScript manipulating the DOM? How is it connecting to HTML and working with HTML? How can we create a functional website using JavaScript. Although this is difficult concept to understand, if you don't want to be a Gilbert, AKA a frameworker, then you have to understand a basics of a programming language. That way, when it's time to work on a framework, not only will your life be easier, but you can do much more and speed up the process of creating things. Again, it's called a framework for a reason. It's supposed to make writing a programming language easier. And by understanding a programming language, you can utilize the framework for your fullest abilities and you can create things faster and much more efficiently. And if you wanna join a Discord server filled with 
coders, then feel free to join our free Discord community. There's freaking everything from showcasing your skills. We also have a jobs board where people can post opportunities or open source projects that you can work on. And I promise you, it's not like those other Discord communities. It's far better. We have such a great community of people that help actually help each other out. So yeah, I'll leave that in the bio. But again, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Happy coding. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.